So guys, to reset your HP all-in-one desktop or just any HP laptop or computer, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And now once you're on this, next to reset this PC, you wanna click on reset PC. And now this will come up. And now once we're here, we have two options, either keep my files or remove everything. By the way, before we do this, I recommend having a backup of all your personal files, apps and settings, your important ones. And now you could choose one of these options, if you do not have a backup, you can go with keep my files. If you do have a backup, you can go with remove everything. It's up to you though what you want to go with. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be going with remove everything. And now once we're here, you could either go with a cloud download or a local reinstall. It doesn't really matter what you go with, I'm just going to be going with local reinstall. And now you're going to click on change settings. And now once we're here, we're going to be getting some options. So for example, under clean data, it's going to be saying just remove your files. This is quicker but less secure. So right now we're set to no which means that this will come up. So now if I set this to yes, the option will now change. It will now be clean the drive, this may take hours, but will make it harder to recover files. So if you set it to no, it's gonna say something. If you set it to yes, it will say something else. This will be for the other options as well. So if I do yes on this option, it's gonna say something else and this as well. So you just wanna go through all of this and then see what is the best option for you, see what you want, and then click on confirm. And now it's gonna tell you what's gonna happen depending on the options that you selected. And you can select, show me the list of drives that will be affected. It's gonna tell you. And then you can click on next. Wait for this to load. And now once we get to this stage, it's gonna be telling you what's gonna happen. Resetting will do all of this. And now you wanna click on reset. It will then reset your computer back to factory settings. 